Welcome back to another episode of MotoGP Mac and today we're going to talk about the upcoming race for this weekend's Grand Prix in Aragon. Now before we get into it, here is the schedule for Friday. Here is the schedule for Saturday. And here is the schedule for Sunday. Now, when I think of this circuit, Aragon, you know, there's been some momentous battles around this track, and it is really a rider's circuit. It is also one of those circuits, I've said this on a few occasions, that you definitely do not want to crash at. But when we look at it going in there this weekend, it's hard to look past Peko Banyaya. He's had a lot of success around this circuit, and on his current form, he would be difficult to see him not being up there or thereabouts you could also say the same for Jorge Martin very strong in the last few races so it will be definitely interesting to see exactly how he gets on Enya Bastanini I think does need a bit of a stronger weekend from the previous one yes he didn't do too bad in the race but again he was very far from the front too so sorting out qualifying will hopefully do the trick for him Marc Marquez, you know, he had amazing pace in Austria, and we said this, you know, it will be interesting to see now that he goes back to the standard 2024 carcass of the tyre. Will he still have that pace? Has he unlocked something in that Ducati? Maverick Vinales, I really don't know how he is going to go there. Just depends on what Maverick turns up, in my opinion. Brad Binder, again, he needs a good weekend. You know, KTM and Gas Gas had a pretty pitiful weekend last uh, race in Austria. So I definitely think they definitely do need a good weekend. I think Pedro Acosta, I think he just needs a solid weekend. You know, no crashes. Even if he finishes down the pack, if he gets in and has a good solid race weekend, I think that's just what the doctor ordered for him. Alicia Spagro, no doubt he will try his best, but I'm just not sure what exactly is going to turn up with the Aprilia. Is it going to be a package around here? Um, I guess we're going to wait and see. Fabio Di Antonio, you know, he is hoping to ride this weekend. I'm not really sure what condition he will be in after dislocating his shoulder and such. So I guess it is a wait and see. Alex Marquez, I do think needs a good weekend as well, you know. He's there, thereabouts, but he's definitely, you know, the number two in the team and he's far behind Mark. And I'd like to see Alex get up there and start challenging for, you know, the fourth, fifth places. But let's wait and see. Marco Bisecchi, let's see the step forward that he makes. He seems to have a better feeling with the front end of the GP23. Can he keep that rolling? Uh, Franco Morbidelli. Again, you just don't know what Franco is going to come up. Is it going to be fighting Franco or is it going to be unfortunate Franco? I guess we're going to wait and see for the weekend. But, you know, he is making some sort of headway now. He is tying on points with Marco Bisecchi. Miguel Oliveira, again, it would be interesting to see where, where he ends up. Um, he's very similar to Mav and and the latest bag row, if the Aprilia works, he might go forward. If it's st struggling any bit, then he won't. Fabio Quadraro, again, you know, the long straight and that real acceleration point is a bit of a killer for the Yamaha. Um, but saying that they didn't do too bad uh, acceleration-wise in um, Austria. So, you know, there are some corners here that do suit the Yamaha. But I'm still not holding my breath to uh, to think that they're going to be in the top five, for example. Miller, again, needs a couple of good races now uh, to try and seal that deal on the Pramac Yamaha for next year. Raul Fernandez just needs a solid weekend. You know, his future is all sorted and calm and, and everything. So I don't necessarily think that he needs to worry too much about anything. Augusto Fernandez, you know... He's going to be a Yamaha test rider next season. So he might as well just roll around and enjoy the fact that he's out racing. Uh, Zarco, who is top of the Hondas. You know, let's wait and see. I, I really just don't know what is going to happen w with the Hondas. 
Um, are they going to make any sort of step forward or are they not? I know they're testing and trying to trying to figure it out. But again, I wouldn't necessarily hold my breath. Alex Rins, again, does need to start coming forward now. You know, he has his contract secured for another two years. So um, let's see if he can get going and go forward. Luca Marini, again, another person that needs to get going or, you know, he is going to be well left behind and and his confidence seems to be up. I will give him that, you know, he has beaten Mir in the last few races. Um, even though that he may not have scored points, he has beaten Mir and it doesn't matter. The first rule of racing is beat your teammate and even if you're not scoring point, points, but you're ahead of him, um that is all that matters personally myself i like aragon i like the circuit and i'm hoping that it will be a good solid tough race for everyone um, and we do have some mighty action in the front of the race but i would definitely love to know your thoughts what are you looking forward to mostly in aragon and who is your fastest man on friday Definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video.